Morning all, this is Mark from Osmia Water. So um, this video is a quick presentation of an idea that I've come up with to combine two existing technologies, which is one is a tromp and the other one is freeze desalination to um, desalinate water without using a lot of energy or replacement filters or expensive components and energy. So it's a tromp and free desalination. So I'll play you a couple of video clips just to show you what that is. Lots of people know what a tromp is, but for those that don't, it's an air compressor with no moving parts. It uses a property of water to compress air. It consists of four main bits. There's an inlet pipe where the water comes in and mixes with the air. Then there's an expansion chamber so the, the air comes out of the water. There's a gas collection pipe where the uh, air gets compressed and then there's an outlet pipe. There's only four really simple bits, and they were used a lot in blast furnaces across Spain. There are a lot of different designs. We're going to use a linear design so we can point those bits out, but you can make compact designs, and they can be pretty much as big as you like. The infamous one, or famous one, is in um, Ragged Shoot, Canada. It's got a 100 metre drop, and I think that the pipe is something like 2.9 metres across. Uh, they use it for making compressed air for running mining equipment, which is just incredible. So they're amazing machines, and it's been mentioned to me a lot to make a trump and to see what we could do with it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. In our series, Osmosis, and here we're going to look at the freezing process in order to separate the salts or the solutes from the solvent, in this case, water. So even though it's not directly an osmosis process, again, the relationship is there in that, in this case, again, we want to separate the water from the salt water. And one way in which we can do that is freezing. If we simply have a batch of water like that, containing a lot of salt, like seawater, and remove heat from it under refrigeration, you put it into a big cooler, you start uh, making it really cold, then ice will begin to form on top, of course, the, the uh, freezing point of the of the uh, salt water will be lower than zero degrees centigrade or 32 degrees Fahrenheit because of the infusion of the solute in there. But uh, nevertheless, make it cold enough, ice will begin to form and start building up. And that ice layer will be almost completely free of the solute of the salts that are in the water, which is amazing. So okay, people, so, so freeze desalination is an existing technology, but as it mentions in this paper, um, all the FD methods have less potable water production capacity than membrane-based and vaporization-based desalination methods. However, the electrical energy consumption and cost of potable water production with these methods uh, obviously are more expensive. So this now, if the TROMP provides the energy for free, this makes freeze desalination free. So although it might be slower at producing pure water, um, the freezing method is also a way not just to reduce the salt but also the deuterium in the water so it would deplete the deuterium to freeze desalinate water and also to uh, get rid of the salt so anyway I just wanted to present this idea um, freeze desalination is an existing technology um, there are freeze desalination plants, I think, where is there one? In Norway or Denmark, for example. Um, and it's just something that, um, uh, let me click on images. Um, well, it, it shows you like a model of the process, but does it have a plant? Um, pictures, maybe not. Anyway, nevertheless, um, this is my idea. I wanted to present it so that if anyone is involved in desalination or involved in desalination research, perhaps they might want to think about um, studying this idea uh, because I see it as the very best way to desalinate water with the least amount of energy, moving parts and replaceable filters or mechanical components and obviously energy. So my, my idea to desalinate the water for the world is anywhere there's a flowing water like um, river lake perennial stream sea as well you just build a tromp and then you build a freeze desalination plant next to that and there you go that is your solution to desalination and running out of fresh water so i hope it helps um i think it's a great idea so 
uh, I'd love to know your feedback and comments and if you think it's a good idea or if you don't think it's a good idea tell me why and we can discuss it all right guys thanks a lot all the best peace and love